What's going on, YouTube OCD for EDC here? And I am joined by my lovely wife, Molly. Say hello. Hello. And then we are also joined uh, by a new something in our home. Uh, this little guy. This here is uh, Ollie. Say hello. Say hello. Um, Ollie is what, 10 weeks old? Yeah. Something to that effect? Something to that effect. Uh, he, he is a. Uh, he says, I'll bite you. A puppy that it belongs to one of Molly's co workers. And we are uh, babysitting for a week. Hi, uh, hi. So, fun, fun for us. We have another puppy in the house. Uh, you don't sound excited. Well, he's already pissed and shit and, you know, did all the puppy things. So, there's that. Like, duh. Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Put a smile on your face and be happy. Isn't he cute? Uh, Look at him. Yeah. So, um, we got this package here from Lefty EDC. Uh, actually, I think his address is out there, so. <laughs> you should probably burn it. Yeah. Mm. And then we got this big, huge box right here, and this is brand new from Spider Co. So we're gonna check both of these out. Um, I was uh, expecting another package today, which was supposed to be my Monterey Bay uh, Slayback, but it is held up in the post, so that's uh, you know just shit. Wow, wow, wow! It says OCD uh, Billies. <laughs> Did you just call me a hillbilly? <laughs> So he wrote OCD Billies on the uh, package here. So I'm uh, an educated woman. That's uh, that's a little uh, joke. There were, yeah, we won't get into that, but ha ha. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, my yucks, huh? Hogue Ballista, uh, and it worked so well for an unboxing knife uh, last time. I figured I'd use it again. Uh, I had a few people ask me about this. Uh, this is a model that is not available yet. Uh, I think it's coming out uh, first quarter next year. Uh, I picked it up at Blade Show. Uh, really cool knife. I'm really digging it. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good one for sure. And it's an Able Auto. And as you can see, it is very sharp. You making weird noises. All right. So I know a few things that are in here because I sent a few knives for Lefty to check out. And so he sent those back, but then he also sent uh, some other stuff. Did he send me a present? Oh, he's got Lefty EDC branded uh, bags here. Look at you spending all the dollars. Yeah, fancy. I'm not even willing us, to spend those dollars. Uh, us hillbillies can't uh, can't afford that stuff, you know. Yeah. The OCD billies. Oh, well. So right off the bat, here we got some uh, oil. This is the uh, 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 Gunny Lube. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but that stuff uh, from Scott Gun. So we'll check that out. And there is my uh, shaman that I sent to him to check out. And this has got a uh, CME on it. And so he wanted to check that out because he's a lefty. And uh, yeah, he didn't like the shaman uh, without it. And yeah, I don't think he's a big fan of the shaman anyway. But, uh, you know. And then we got a button here, a little Detent Diva button, and we got a pink sticker, and a couple Lefty EDC stickers. There better be. Oh, and a magnet. Lefty Live. Present in there for me. <laughs> okay, so we got that, and that, is that and this. Or is it a knife? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what this is. This is. It's a Leon Ma patch. Okay. Or pouch, I mean. Well, okay. You have not satisfied the wife. <laughs> <laughs> You've not satisfied the wife. Stickers won't cut it, son. Oh. So uh, there's a magnet, a lefty live magnet. I don't, I got too many magnets on my fridge. Okay. So let's see what we're working with here. Okay. Actually, I think he sent, yeah. 
So these are the three knives that I sent to Lefty to check out. Uh, this uh, Tepe Design uh, Tucson, the uh, Tepe Hornet 2, and the uh, St. Nick's Exclusive Manix with a CME on it. Uh, so those were the three knives that I sent his way, and he's had them for a little bit, checked them out, uh, and then he sent a few my way. So what we got here, we've got the uh, Liang Ma uh, Field Duty uh, right here, which is just an awesome, awesome knife. So can't go wrong with the Field Duty. <laughs> and then we got the Cuff, KUF. Uh, this is the lefty version. That's cool. And, and it's got a Teletubby on the top, uh, which makes it a little top flipper, which is very functional. However, um, looks ridiculous. See, even the dog wants to bite it off. <laughs> um, so, but the cuff is a really, really sweet knife. And this is my first... Uh, First uh, chance getting to uh, handle a lefty version of it, uh, which is really cool. It's awesome that Leong is doing these lefty variants. Uh, really, really cool. So, digging that. Cool beans. And man. then, we got this pouch right here. And I don't know. So, really cool pouch. She thick. Yeah. And... Nice velvety going on in there, and it's like a like a webbed nylon, uh, little Velcro uh, closure there or hook and loop. Uh, comes with the pack, uh, with the patch. So yeah, really really cool. I'm digging this uh, case. That's awesome. And then we got a card here, Liang Ma, and a Liang Ma uh, branded uh, microfiber cloth. And I think this is. Yeah, this is an integral. Uh, so I don't n remember the name on this one. Uh, I'll have to find out. But definitely a cool looking knife. Uh, kind of an old school looking uh, bolster lock. Action on it is very, very good. Uh, detent is very, very nice. Um, I'm assuming this is made by Riot. So yeah, really cool. The ball does not spin uh, like on the Tepe here. The Tepe, the ball actually spins that's in the pocket clip, uh, which is a cool little feature. Now this one here is S90V. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. Uh, Molly just went and put uh, Ollie in his uh, kennel and yeah so i think you can probably uh flick oh yeah for sure so really cool little knife here uh definitely gonna have to figure out what the name on this is but the marble carbon fiber or shred carbon fiber i guess uh looks very very nice uh, we've got like a blasted finish on the bolster and then yeah, there's a satin up here on the flat, and then a blasted finish on the blade itself, flat ground S90V. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember Riot really doing much with S90V, so that's interesting. So this one here is M390 on the cuff. Uh, what do you think about these, hon? I don't know. Try them out. Now they're all left-handed, so they're backwards for what you're used to, oh. but. Your nails are looking pretty jank at the moment. Uh, yeah, I popped all my peelies. I'm finna do them. So how funny is that? Watching a right-handed person mess with, you know, putting pressure on the lock bar? It's it's kind of enjoyable, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome. Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. I just... It no, just isn't happening? It just isn't happening. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> he grabbed the packaging. He did. So what do you think of that? Uh, it's really quite comfortable, except for I don't like the pocket clip with my fingers right there. Yeah. Well, that's what lefties experience uh, all if the I time. If I wield it like this, yeah. 
Mm. I'm going to hurt hand. myself in someone else. Uh, okay. All this right. hand is worthless. Gotcha. Well, so the, so the cuff that, here that is... Too. Here, oh, check that one out. So do you like this in hand? Yeah. yeah. Except for the pocket clip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you got go. that. Got that one. How's that one feel in hand? Same pocket clip Sa issue. Same clip issue, huh? Yeah. It's okay. really comfortable otherwise, though. Yeah. Yeah. The, and it's that's like the, the thickness is perfect and the rounded edges. Yeah. It's a good one. That's the KUF, which stands for Kitchen Utility Folder. I get it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And if you look at the, the angle of the dangle here so you can get down on a cutting board. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is a really cool knife. I really dig this one. Um, the Teletubby thing is a little bit goofy, and we're going to remedy that uh, for Lefty. He actually uh, bought this one. He thinks he's so, really cool with that package. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's good. Keep him busy for a few minutes so he doesn't piss all over the place. All right. All right, this one, you want to try that one out? The flipper, you That's got that good. down. Yep. You like that? Except for the clip? Yep. Yep. So now you're experiencing what left left handed people experience. Wah, 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 wah. Why don't you just change your ways? <laughs> <laughs> change your ways. Hmm. Yeah, these are all uh, really awesome knives. I'm glad I get a chance to take a look at them. You know, it's not very often that. Uh, we get a cool model like this in a lefty variant. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped that uh, old Kevin sent these over for me to take a look at because it's just a, it's just a different experience. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty ambidextrous. It's like shooting uh, left-handed pew-pews. You feel just liberated. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's... It's just a different experience, um, and I'm so used to uh, uh, using my right hand because, uh, you know, everything's right-handed, and so I've just adapted to that, but so it, it almost feels weird uh, to, to use a left-handed knife just because it's just it's so rare, um, and it's, you know, especially rare in models like this. Mm -hmm. So very, very cool, uh, super pumped to... Uh, you know, check all those out and really get to experience them. Uh, so real quick, uh, let's get into this box. And let's see uh, what we're working with here. I have no idea what's in this package. I did not look at the email. And that makes it just fun, honestly. Much excited. Yeah. Very excited. Great okay. success. Great success. Uh, okay, so we've got for sure three in here. We've got this one, and this one, and then the big one, the big one. Oh, oh, I think I know one of them. Okay. All right, and we got some booblies. Booblies. Yep. Kind of like Michael Blueblay. Kind of. Blay, only not. Only, oh, actually, that no, that, suck. yeah, let's see here. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's like Michael Sorry Bublé. Sorry about your but, eardrums. But this sounds better. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, burn. Damn, why would you talk about him that way? He's a lovely man. <laughs> Is he? I don't know. Yes. I just know that he sings. Yeah, old timey like, and I love it. Oh, he's, okay. He's He's pretty cute, too. Oh. Uh, one of our daughter's friends, actually, a couple years ago, when she was way too young for me to ever hear any boy talk. Yeah. Um, she said, well, I said, Michael Buble is pretty cute. And she's like, yeah, I can get by on that. <laughs> it, was, it was Noel. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha. Nice. I was shocked. Okay, so uh, here's what we got. And... Uh, so... This is interesting. Um, so we're going to save this one for last because that one's kind of interesting. But uh, so let's just uh, get into it. Let's open this one first. Boom. So here is the Native Chief in Orange G10 and CTS XHP. This is going to be a cutlery shop exclusive. 
Uh, they made this one uh, with the black coated blade, and this one is the satin blade. And honestly, I love the orange and black knives, but this one, man, it looks pretty good with the satin. I gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, XHP is perfect. Uh, centering on it is absolutely perfect. And yeah, looks fantastic. Uh, so that one's really cool. That's pretty cute. Yeah. A little cutlery shop exclusive. All right, next up. Cool, another orange knife that we you're gonna struggle to get rid of. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a hard time letting the orange ones go. I, I, I feel uh, compelled uh, to keep them. If you haven't guessed, but, he likes orange. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Uh, this is the Yo Jumbo. Oh. This one is in S30V. Uh, and this is the Murdered Out variant. Uh, like liner, everything, uh, blacked out. Uh, Michael Janich design. And you can see the uh, MJ there. And it's even got the uh, laser etching on it is black. It's just shiny. Uh, so very, very cool. Super Tactabro. And, you know, the Yo Jumbo is a really cool knife. And this one has excellent action right out of the box. Uh, definitely really cool. And, uh, you know, you can get a sweet uh, carbon fiber or a black CME. Uh, to fit the O Jumbo, which is very, very cool. So, there you go. Go check out OCD for EDC. Does it take its own kind of... Dot com and uh, pick up, you know, your uh, CME. Uh, the O Jumbo uh, oh. takes the the same... I, I have one to fit the O Jumbo. Okay. Not the O Jimbo, but the O Jumbo. So, I'm gonna the big one... check that that's on the website. The big one, not the little one. Okay. So, there you go. Big in, not so, little So, yeah, may, uh, maybe it's not listed on the website, I don't know, but we'll have to we'll check that, that out. But, but they're definitely, we have a CME to fit the Yo Jumbo, okay? So, just to let you guys know, go check out the website. We also uh, have got uh, some new stuff to talk about the website here in a moment. But first, we're going to open this box. Speaking of. Yeah. I'm going to clip you we've little got, nails, boy. <laughs> we've got some... Uh, some fun stuff to talk about on the website. So, that should be cool. Fun times with OCD. For That's right. OCD. You know, just a little uh, giving back. And it's, it's going to be fun. I'm trying not to wreck the box here. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Boom! This That's right here <laughs> is a mule team, and this one is T thirty mule team blade. This one is you said it's mule team. Oh yeah, MT thirty. So this is mule team thirty, and this one is in Z wear. Mm. Uh, so very very similar to crew wear, uh, but. Uh, Z Wear PM, so it's a powder metallurgy. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really cool. I love the mules, they're super cool. Is it and, for zombie killing? Uh, it Z -wear can be for zombies, sure. Got Why it. not? Okay, so I'm gonna do some, uh, we're gonna do a little edge testing here, but why don't you tell them about what we're gonna do on the website? So, y'all, what we finna do is uh every month we are going to log uh orders order numbers and at the end of the month we are going to do a drawing spin the wheel oh fun for a prize and use a random generator uh, number generator to pick out a winner from that month's orders so if you purchase on our website at any time, you every order you make will enter you into the drawing. So whether it's an order for just some stickers or an order for a knife or whatever, every single order will get you one entry into the drawing that we'll do. And I think we'll do it, uh, we're gonna do the video, we'll, we'll record it and do a video on picking the winners. Uh, 
And so yeah, we'll probably do it one of the prizes, and I think this first, just because we're kind of starting in the middle of the month here, so there'll be two winners, uh, and we're going to do it at the end of September. So because we're kind of in the middle of the month, but we'll go back to the first of August. Uh, and so we'll do August and September, but we'll do those drawings together. And one of the people are, is going to win this knife right here. Uh, this is the Artisan Cutlery uh, Aryan or Aryan. Uh, not sure. Uh, this is the White Mountain exclusive. And we're going to give this away to some lucky winner, someone who ordered from our website. Um, so if you guys want a chance at uh, picking up this little knife right here, and then there will be another uh, lucky winner as well. And like I said, we will uh, do those videos. Um, or make a video of, uh, you know, picking the winners. And so because all of our orders are numbered, uh, like Molly said, we're just going to use like random.org. And, you know, if it's order number, uh, you know, 1422 through 1579 or whatever it is, uh, you know, it'll pick a random number uh, between those two numbers. And whoever's order that is will win a knife uh, or, or some other uh, gift. And... So, but they Purchase will be. Purchase is necessary to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they will be cool gifts, like this one right here, which is a really cool gift. So uh, you might get a discount you know, code. You might. Who yeah, knows? it could could run the gamut of yeah. different things. But like I said, we're gonna... but someone for sure will win this knife on this first one here, and we'll we'll put out there what the uh, prizes are, and uh, yeah, it, they'll be good prizes. So go check out the website ocdforec.com. You know, pick you up a CME for a shaman or a yo jumbo or a pair of three or whatever. You know, we've got all kinds of good stuff. It. And uh, just Get a little it. FYI, we've had a bunch of emails about flytanium stuff. Um, I just placed a really big order for flytanium uh, stuff. So there'll be a bunch of that coming uh, very, very soon. Hopefully, we'll get the package soon and it won't get held up like my slayback did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of really cool stuff coming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the Native Chief was a one four zero on the old sharpness tester. Not too uh, shabby. Not too shabby. I need somebody to break a Benjamin, though. You know how yeah. fun that is. I can't help you. I yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll deal with it. So, I have a feeling he needs to go P-O-T-T-Y. Oh, all right. Well, we'll, we'll make this quick. Okay, so the jumbo. Here we go. Oop. Here we go. Here we go. The yo jumbo. Whoa! Ask and you shall receive. Sub one hundo. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> sub one hundo. So breaking breaking jumbo. Benjamins <laughs> is happening here tonight. Yeah, boy. Yeah. So, there you go. Was that exciting, puppy? He's like, no, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. He's had a very exciting time with our three dogs. Yeah. And the cow and the chap. Yeah, he ran around back, went out in the pasture. He's somehow gotten really lucky and not gotten shocked on the electric fence, although he's Even. touched it about 17 times. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's inevitable. It will happen. Oh, it will. Yeah, and his yep. mom was here for the first go round underneath the electric fence, and, and she, she was, was all very work. worried. And yeah. I said, "No, no, no, it's fine. They He'll have learn. to learn the hard way." That's sometime. right. He'll learn. It won't hurt him. Eh. I mean, it'll hurt. Yeah, but brief, he won't briefly. Get injured. Yeah, that's right. It won't be a long term injury. Yeah. All right, here we go on the Zware Mule Team Thirty. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, one one five. I thought it was gonna be a sub one hundred again. Yeah, you're getting you getting like spoiled. It, you felt like it was gonna be the I felt one, it, huh? And then it just went bloop fifteen. Yeah. Dang. All right, we need to hit up these uh, Leong Ma's and just see real quick what we're working with on the cuff. Uh, this is M three ninety. Now these are used to a certain extent. I don't I don't know what Kevin has cut with these, but. Let's see what kind of edge they have on them How now. sausages. 115. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, you think you think he was cutting snacks? <laughs> yeah. Snacks and snausages? 
summer sausage and cheeses. <laughs> big, big summer sausage guy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Maybe some schnitzel. I don't know. I like summer sausage. <laughs> just saying. I um, used to. I struggle with putting it in my mouth nowadays. Yep. She likes the man sausage. Shut up. Don't talk that way. <laughs> in her mouth. You fucking nasty. <laughs> You're the one that talked about sausage in your mouth hole. I didn't, wasn't talking like that. <laughs> Smile like a donut. Okay. Guys, this just so, in. It's almost our anniversary and we're getting divorced. Field duty. I said duty. Yeah, you did. Dudes. 110. Dang. 110. See, Your sausages so must be soft. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are soft sausages that he's cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Maybe he must have just been cutting. He he is a bougie bitch, so he's probably just cutting like brie. Oh right? yeah, that soft uh, cheese. Yeah, that soft cheese. Yeah. Right. With your red wine. Right. See, he he does things like this. Right. So this is a this is a man who eats brie right did, here. Did your wife know you're this bougie? <laughs> oh shit. You know how I know you're gay? Right? Because <laughs> I once saw you serve dip out of a bread bowl. 135 on the S90V. Uh, very, very that cool. That was probably the sausage knife. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sausage knife? Yeah. All right. So there you go. Um, thanks so much to Kevin for sending these over. Uh, I'm super pumped to check these out. We're going to do a little mod work on them, or on this one anyway. Uh, so that should be really cool. And then, you know, Mule Team 30, uh, the Native Chief, and the Jumbo. Uh, really cool knives, and you can't forget about the Hornet, too. I mean, honestly, guys, like, it doesn't get much better than this right here. Uh, yeah. Sean Hassan, my man, Tepe Design, did just an amazing job on this knife. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's beautiful, and, uh, yeah. She's Get it, queen. Gorgeous. And of course, uh, the shaman. And uh, the, I can't remember the number on this one. 267, maybe? I, I don't remember. Uh, definitely a really cool one, though. And some cool looking carbon fiber. Interesting knife. Uh, you know, a little different. But uh, there you go. So that's what we had for the face balls today. A whole bunch of stuff going on. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And like I said, see, you can't even flip these right-handed because you put lock bar pressure on. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, you guys can uh, go and get involved uh, on the website, ocdforedc.com. Uh, win yourself a sweet artisan. Um, pretty cool little knife right there. And then we'll come up with another really cool gift. And yeah, you know, just our way to give back. We don't do a tremendous number of giveaways here on the channel. And I think uh, it would, yeah, this will be a cool way for us to do giveaways. And, you know, uh, all the giveaway stuff that you see on our channel is paid for by us. Uh, so it's a little more difficult. And, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully. Knife companies don't like us. They won't support us. <laughs> Well, we we just uh, we just don't go asking for stuff, um, yeah. you know, and teach their own. Like I'm not, it, it is what it is. Uh, but I don't I just, have time for those emails. We, yeah, we just don't have time to do it, guys. It's just that's really what it boils down to. And you yeah, know, I know that like there's tons of other channels that you know do giveaways all the time. And uh, like I said, I mean, I I I'm not independently wealthy enough to be able to give away hundreds of dollars every single month. Um, but I am, you know, we are going to give away some stuff on the website. Um, and we appreciate your guys' business a ton. The website's been doing really, really fantastic. And we can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, we really, really appreciate all the support you guys have shown to us. So we want to give back to you guys. Uh, and this was the best way that we know how to do that. And so, yeah. You have anything else you want to say? That was awfully heartfelt I awfully can't, heartfelt I can't deal with stuff like that. okay all right but thank you <laughs> yeah thanks so much guys uh hopefully you enjoyed this and we will catch you next time we out Bye.